everyone out there. It is me, Gary Schumacher. Welcome back to my channel, Gary Schumacher, exposing false prophets or exposes false prophets. I don't know. I'm toying around with that. Uh, okay. I um, just want to put it out there. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I am a, a small YouTube channel. I'm just starting out this channel and I really need uh, some more subscribers than I need. Uh, if you don't want to subscribe, I understand. But at least give me a thumbs up moves the algorithm along and it gives the uh it gets my content out to more people uh which i really need um so if you have noticed i'm sporting some new headphones today uh they are actually gaming headphones uh there's a little microphone that pops out of the side here which i really don't need so i shove that back up into my skull and um but i'm sure if i'm not careful my son's a uh, a gamer and he will try to uh, steal these from me but they are comfortable they're made by steel series they're called the arctis nova one and um listen i'm not plugging this i don't have sponsors okay i've only got 22 subscribers so i don't have any sponsors or anything like that but uh, i was talking to some friends on uh, facebook this morning and i told them that i bought these and uh they're thinking about doing the same thing, so I told them to check out my YouTube channel, and uh, I'll tell you what I think of them. And uh, they they seem to be working pretty good. I don't need a microphone, like I said, but I keep it on because it helps me with some of these cutaways I, I'm going to be doing. So they, it does help to have these headphones on because I don't get the uh, echo and the feedback. So, all right, I went off on a tangent. Sorry about that. Uh, let's get back to business here. Um, so um, I'm going to be talking about Mario Murillo today. Now, Mario Murillo, if you're not uh, familiar with him, he is a, uh, a, a I guess, a TV evangelist. Um, would, he did the rounds on the Sid Roth show and things like that. He was doing some of these false prophecies, went down that rabbit hole, did the prediction, the 2020 prediction that Trump would win uh, the election. But the, the difference between Mario Murillo and the rest of these false prophets out there is Mario Murillo, when Trump wasn't elected for a second term, went back, apologized, and went back into his faith and started realizing that, hey, what am I doing here? You know, this is false prophecy. This is what God warned us about. So he even says in this part of this video, he's trying to get some people, you know, away from it like he did. He finally saw the light. At least I'm hoping he did so because there's a lot of these TV evangelists or false teachers out there who said they have repented and turned over a new leaf but six months later they're right back to it again but this guy's been a couple of years now so he's hanging in there and I and I hope he's uh, back to sound doctrine that's why I've named this uh, so you read below here Mario Murillo back to sound doctrine with a question mark on the end so I don't know if I could trust this guy or not, but time will tell. Unfortunately, sometime a leopard never changes his spot, but he's saying the right things right now. He's calling out these false prophets, and uh, and this is what we need, somebody with his type of platform to do it because, like I said, I'm just a little small YouTube channel, and uh, but from a little spark, you know, like my channel is, eventually creates a great big fire and a flame. So... And that's what I'm hoping for. So let me put on this uh, video. This is Mario Murillo. And he's going to be talking uh, about Cat Kerr mostly. And there's going to be some cutaways inside the cutaways. So here we go. Just give me a second here. Not a real flattering picture old Mario here. Anyone that said that something was going to turn out a certain way and it didn't should be labeled a false prophet if if somebody said there's going to be a red tsunami and we get a pink leaky faucet then you got to look at them and say well, why am i following them and i can let you know he does have a plan and there is his pink leaky faucet with the red tsunami and yes it did happen why am i listening to them when they start telling you the bizarre things that they said they saw in heaven. There's a whole place called Jello Land in heaven. It really does exist. Jello Land in heaven. It really does exist. Okay. 
somewhere there is a straight jacket waiting for this woman. And then part of that land, of course, there's, there's houses made out of candy. They're made out of all kinds of things. Houses made out of candy. Oh, boy. Willy Wonka must have got there before the rest of us. Uh, flowers, a whole house made out of flowers, and they sing to you all the time when you come to your, to your mansion. That's, you know, look, that's the same as the six-foot rule. Doesn't make any sense. If Jesus wanted to, he can make himself big enough to hold this whole earth in his hand. Or he could be his normal size on the earth, which is around six foot tall. Okay. Well, Mario proved to me that those things aren't in heaven. Easy. They're stupid. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, yes, they are. Let's <laughs> let's call it for what it is, Mario. It is stupid to imagine <laughs> that that's going to be in heaven, and it's not an amusement park. Anybody can fly in heaven. You have a place where you learn, though. You do yeah. get to learn. You go. Yes, yes. She, she has another video where um, Christopher Reeves of Superman fame. He uh, he's up there right now giving flying lessons, according to Crazy Cat Kerr. Um, but like I said in another video, the only thing about Christopher Reeve is when he was down here on the Earth, he was a devout atheist. So I uh, I don't know how he's up there with his Superman outfit on giving flying lessons. But I digress. Place called Flyby near the amusement park, and you learn how to fly. The false prophets were sent at a key moment to distract the church. Mario, your blog post recently that really, you just posed the question, Mario, where have you been, um, has really caused quite a bit of a stir because you're dealing with some issues within the body of Christ that uh, you believe really need to be addressed and um, it, it's something yep. that we want to talk about today, and uh, let's let's talk about that first because you did a follow-up uh, blog where you actually named names, and so um, let's kind of talk about that. What inspired you to number one take a break uh, from just kind of being publicly on uh, certain TV shows? Um, let's just get into the mind of Mario Marillo and and uh, take us into that quiet place where the Lord was telling you what to do. Well, uh, first of all, I obeyed the Holy Spirit and prayed and read the Word of God. And that's what we all need to do, okay? It brought Mario Murillo back from this kangaroo gospel, this sideshow circus that's been going on here on television and, and in the media. That's what we all need to do. There's a secret to telling the truth. And that is the truth telling, which is what I did, is an act of faith. It's not so much courage as it is faith. Because you have to believe that if you tell the truth, no matter what, it's going to create the ultimate and best outcome. The There'll be an immediate you. firestorm. Winston Churchill said, panic will reject it. And those who are in the deception will rail against it. Mm -hmm. But he said, in the end, there it is. And there it is. And the fact is there were things that were going on on some of the shows that I was associated with. And I went personally to the individuals that were responsible for my concern about two prophets. And I'm going to name names, Cat Kerr and Robin Bullock. And there they are, Cat Kerr and Robin Bullock, two of the craziest of crazies. Um, you know, especially when you, you know, you, you think of Robin Bullock, where he sends, he actually sends out threats, you know, if, if you don't uh, agree with his philosophy or, or doctrine or whatever you want to call what he speaks, right? He says, don't judge the word, the fire that's coming out of my mouth. How dare you? Uh, that's my, uh, that's, <laughs> that's my uh, Robin Bullock impression, not a very good one. Um, and then, of course, we just got the uh, the marshmallow, pink-haired cat, Kerr. And now, Mario's talking here. He's trying to, you know, ex he's exposing them as false prophets. It's about some time somebody with his platform 
does something like this. And they were identified with this gentleman in his church, and he was a regular guest alongside of me, and I went to him privately on four occasions and implored him to disassociate himself with false prophets. Mm. And, and not only him, but uh, also other people in the show. Uh, one individual that I'm going to mention that is a great man of God, and we're teaming up together to do rallies, is Lance Walnow. And Lance is a true man of God who studies the Word of God and understands. So after a while, it became clear that the Spirit of God was grieved by this program, was pulling people in under a political guise, yes. Effective, yes. Powerful, yes. Am I grateful for it? Absolutely. I've got nothing to say negative about that part. But the part that was an issue was the association which has now even become a closer association with false prophets that I've named, and so I, I had to bow out. The second reason I left is because so many people are getting saved. Now, that is, a, that is the question. So many people are getting saved, okay? Um, I was saved as a small boy, and uh, that, that stuck with me my entire life. It, 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 it's fate, you know. I've always had it. Now, have I gone down the wrong path in life? Absolutely, I have. I, I you know, I was in the Navy. I, uh, I, I was a typical sailor. I did some wild stuff, you know, back in my younger days. But God brought me back, you know. And before you leave this planet. You have to be saved. You have to give your life to Jesus Christ because life is short. It seemed like yesterday I was that 19-year-old sailor shipped off to the Persian Gulf, and now I'm 57 years, well, I'm going to be 57 years old, and that went by in a flash. I mean a flash. And our time is short here, but eternity is long. There is a massive American soul-winning uh, situation on our hands. Right now, we're, we're in the middle of a crisis, and that crisis led me to write the book, It's Our Turn Now, to talk about an undercurrent of millions of Americans who are ready right now to be born again, if we'll go and get them. We can't be playing with Jello Mountains in Heaven <laughs> or Elvis. We need to be winning souls. And if right. that gets me in trouble with someone, then that someone needs to look deep in their own soul and say, why would that statement offend me? Thank you very much. Uh, I'm sure Elvis would uh, like, love to hear that. Um, yeah, um, that's, uh, that's what's going on. These people, especially somebody like Kat Kerr, who makes uh, frequent trips to heaven, oh, they, they do run into every celebrity under the sun up there. And uh, it's ridiculous, people. They live in a fantasy world, okay? Jesus Christ stopped being enough for these these people a long time ago and their followers as well. And the sad part is is they have a lot of followers. You go to Kat Kerr's um, YouTube channel, you'll see how many subscribers she has. It's insane, okay? Now, I can't find any uh, wealth on Kat Kerr, uh, but I found wealth on the big boys, you know, and it's insane how much Kenneth Copeland is worth. He's worth almost a billion dollars. and a couple of years ago, a tornado, a couple tornadoes actually, ripped through his um, his uh, house and his uh, compound there, damaged some areas of his of his church and stuff like that. So you think he reached in his pocket for his eight eight hundred million dollars or a billion dollars and you know fixed the damage? No, he went right on TV and asked for donations from from the followers of his church to make the repairs to this church. The man's almost worth a billion dollars and he's still hat in hand. Please help fix up my, you know, my my mansion and my my church. It's uh, it's pathetic. Okay? Greed of these people. Ugh, I'm sorry. I went on a tangent there. Let's finish up with Mario. Yeah, you know, we live in a day where we don't know male or female. And so what happens is a a group is labeled as being oppressed. And so once they're labeled as oppressed or marginal, 
uh, and then they say something totally insane. I'm a cat. I'm not a person. I self-identify as a five-year-old Mexican when I'm really a 45-year-old Norwegian. And we are then put in the position. I want to be a 45-year-old Norwegian instead of a 57-year-old dude from Jersey. Oh, well. Where the individual who says, well, that's nuts, is suddenly labeled and given all these names and accusations. The same thing is going on right here. When you question the outlandish statements of these prophets, suddenly you're called divisive. When it's just plain sanity and biblical reality. Okay, Mario Murillo making some sense over here, calling out the false prophets, okay? I mean, he's dead on. Uh, Robin Bullock, uh, Kent, uh, Kenneth Copeland, and let's not, let's not forget Amanda Grace. Uh, she is another one. Uh, I did some research on her, <laughs> according to the research I did on her. She's, she's worth $95,000, okay? So yeah, uh, I, maybe that's what you're telling the IRS there, Amanda but I'm not buying it at all. I mean, I watched one of her uh, live streams one night and in a 40 minute live stream, just from the, the live chat alone, because you can donate right into her live chat. She set it up, you just click on it, boom, comes right out of your bank account. Five, 10, 50, 100, $500. She made over $980, I have it right here, in 40 minutes on her live stream. That's just from her live stream. Let's not even talk about the My Pillow uh, commercials that run on her show. She's got another one for some gold exchange, and just on and on and on. This woman is racking up the Benjamins. Okay, so yeah, you may want to you may want to uh, look into her IRS because uh, I, I think she's worth a little bit more than ninety five G's. Okay, all right, uh, because you're really she. She has more sponsors than the Super Bowl these days, so uh, I can't imagine that she's only, uh, she's probably only paying taxes on 95000 okay? All right, so that is pretty much it for me uh, this, uh, well, almost this afternoon. Uh, I want to thank you for tuning into my uh, YouTube channel yet again. Like I said, I'm a little, little tiny guy here. Please like and subscribe. Um, I got to keep that algorithm moving. And uh, I'm doing the best I can to bring you uh, content and to bring some sanity out of all this craziness. So I'm going to end it a prayer, like I always do. I got to move this microphone out of here so I can bow my head. And I pray with, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, thank you for all of us congregating here on. YouTube today and uh, so I can bring some sanity to the body of Christ. There's too much insanity out there trying to pollute the waters and I pray for all of these false prophets. I pay for Kat Kerr that you bring some sanity into her mind and because she's doing a great deal of damage and I pray for Mario Murillo here that I'm hoping that you've opened his eyes because he's he's starting to see the light and realize that the people around him were not were not for you. They're actually against you and hurting you. And he has a much bigger platform than I have. So please, Lord, let him keep up his good work that he's doing so far. Don't let the leopard. The hope, I said before that sometimes a leopard doesn't change the spots. Well, in this case, I pray he did. So thank you, Lord. Thank you for all my wonderful blessings. And I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, folks. So that'll do it for me today. Uh, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. God bless you all. And uh, that'll wrap it up. Oh, don't forget, like and subscribe. Take care. Love you.